Come on. Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RP Geeks. I'm Sonic Geek. Here with me again is Red Nova. Hello. And today, we're going to be looking at the first set of Scholar Quests. Hey. Hmm. Harris, have you any interest in history? So I would share with you an opportunity to study the ways of the ancients. A curiously refined and well-read marauder visited the guild the other day in the hopes that he might meet an arcanist of exceptional skill. Claims that the assistance of one such individual would be invaluable for the success of his archaeological research. I say claims because despite his eloquence, the thought of a marauder with academic ambition still strikes me as odd. You are, of course, free to formulate your own opinions. His name is Alka Zolka, and he can be found at the Marauder's Guild, should curiosity overwhelm. To the Marauder's Guild! Hi. Do you guys remember during the Mar first Marauder video what I, where I said... These guys, this guy was going to be important. This is why. Yeah. Thank you for setting aside your preconceptions, Harris. I'm acutely aware how unusual it is for a marauder to conduct research, as it were. He has glasses, so you know he's smart. <laughs> However, you shall soon understand that I am not at all like my more muscular brethren. Rather than rush blindly into the enemy's maw, I formulate and execute stratagems to great effect. My archaeological pursuits are but an extension of this practice, for at present I am researching the mili military tactics of ancient Nim. It would not surprise me if you were unfamiliar with Nim. Civilization flourished some 15 odd centuries ago during the 5th Astral Era. Nimians lived during an age of wonders, and the magical arts flourished. The magics can be wielded for weal or for woe. In this period of peace eventually gave way to the Great War of the Magi. Remember that, it's going to be important for... I believe it's Heaven's Word. Yep, that is correct. The nations of that bygone era brought earth-shattering magics to bear against one another. Yet Nim, with only a handful of mages to support his army of mariners, repulsed would-be invaders time and time again. Precisely how a military force of this composition could defy its stronger neighbors is a mystery which has long puzzled military historians. Translating existing Nimian, existent Nimian, by translating extant Nimian tablets, which I have recently purchased, I mean to solve the riddle at long last. With my knowledge of Arcanima's cursory at best, I require an experienced Arcanist to assist me with my analysis of any text pertaining to the magical art. Will you be that Arcanist, Harris? There is, however, a complication. The Nimian tablets and other assorted relics, which I paid an exceedingly large amount of money, were stolen en route to Limsa Liminsa. Information inscribed upon those tablets could be of untold significance. I will not allow thieves to sell it to some rich old Don collector for a pittance. Pray accompany me to the Raincatcher Gully Dock and help me reclaim my relic. Strong reason to believe perpetrators can be found there. Do I have Wineport? I do not. Do you have Costa? Wait, that is where we're going. Right? Yep. All right. All right. We're back here again. Head north. All the way to the end. Quest objective is right there. On the other side of the bridge. Hmm. 
and a solo instance. In which case... For some reason I don't have this yet. There we go. Oh, wine port. Yep. Yeah, I know we've gotten that one already. <laughs> yeah, I given would hope so. Takes, given what takes place near here. Yep. Cough, Ninja Quest cough. <laughs> yep. I was going to say, it would be weird if you didn't have it. As I suspected, they are not more than broken men who have seized the docks and taken to robbing every passing ship. Come, let us put an end to their banditry and take back what is ours. Oh boy, solo instance. Yay. Alka Zolka the Thinker. He's a think bonker. Here's a skill I haven't seen in forever. Flash used to be a skill that pretty much every tank was required to have. Hmm. It was basically the way of doing AoE uh, aggro. Yeah, I think I actually remember a little bit. I think it was actually Shadowbringers where they got really bad. Yeah, I think that's about right. Yes, yes, this is it. A treatise, a treatise on Nimian military tactics, just as I hoped. Ooh, shiny. And a fairy. Back in the old end days, the fairies used to do different things too. Now it's purely just a matter of aesthetics. But mayhap the tablet can explain this. Mumble scholars, fairies. Sunlight of Eos doth soothe and shield. Moonlight of Selene doth silence and strength. Not anymore, they don't. Harris. Why the twelve? Have you any idea what this means? We have rediscovered the long-lost magical arts of Nimian scholars. Fairies. Honest-to-God's fairies. 
Now I've seen everything. Anyway, I shall return to the guild and begin translating the tablet. Cannot wait to see what other secrets it contains. I remember, uh, during the kind of, like, relatively close pre-Stormblood days of Heaven's Word, I remember there was a point where I would actually, like, use Scholar to just spam a bunch of dungeons for different shit. Ah. <laughs> of course, that was back during the days of Heaven's Word, where I was more... More comfortable here. Excellent timing, Harris. Just finished transcribing a section which will doubtless be of interest to you. According to the tablet, the crystal from which the fairy sprang forth is called the Soul of the Scholar, and it contains the wisdom of those long-dead Nemean mages. With it, you can call upon the fairy as you did before and bind her to your will. As I said before, I have little knowledge of Arcanum, so unless you have some objections, I would entrust the crystal to you. Oh, and you needn't recompense me. Simply knowing that the lost arts are being preserved is enough. I shall devote my energies to deciphering the remaining text. That I discover anything new, I promise you will be the first to know. Yay! Yay. Scholar unlocked. There he is awoken by the soul of the scholar. The of the Scholar equipped, you can summon a fairy to aid you in battle. Called forth, she will assume the form of a healer type pet. Alright. And with that, editing note, cut to the next quest. Okay, starting Scholar Quest level 35, The Last Remnant. Ah, Harris, I was hoping you might come along. Deciphering the treatise has proven more difficult than I anticipated, but I have nevertheless made progress. It contains a wealth of military knowledge, much of which deals with the role of scholars in Nimian, Nimian units. Details. Apparently, a single scholar could provide effective support for an entire party of marauders. They would simply employ their magics to heal the wounds and enhance the abilities of their allies. Moreover, they often served in leadership roles, as they were highly trained tacticians. But how swiftly the remembrance of all things is buried in the Gulf of Eternity. The treatise indicates that Nimian scholars wielded a far more diverse repertoire of spells than you currently possess. Precisely why you lack these spells, I cannot say. However, the fault may lie with your fairy. One could surmise that the knowledge contained within the soul of the scholar is essentially hers. Therefore, if she cannot remember the ancient magics, it would suggest that... Hmm. A thought occurs to me. If it is indeed the case that the fairy, having been sealed for 1,500 years, has yet to fully regain her senses, mayhap visiting a familiar location would hasten the process. I can think of mo no more familiar place than the city of Nim, rather what remains of it in outer Lenosha. Alright, to outer Lenosha. Number three and 
four. Thank you for dealing with this. Random person. This place sure is cool looking. I wish we could go over there. Forgotten whispers of blah, 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 new memories. Welcome back, Harris. I gather the experiment met with, met with success. And this strongly suggests that each fairy is a distinct individual with their own thoughts, feelings, and memories. Well, I must redouble my efforts to translate their remaining text. At this rate, your discoveries threaten to overshadow mine. Not to bemoan your accomplishments, but I have yet to decipher any equally amazing stratagems. Soon enough, though. Soon enough. Bleep, 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 bleep. You learned sucker. Okay. Scholar quest level 40, the consequences of anger. How curious that you always come at the most opportune time, Harris. Tis divine providence almost. Doubly so since we have been both been blessed with the chance to refine our respective arts. You see, in your absence, I have been studying a section of the Nimian treatise detailing marauder fighting techniques. Fundamentals do not differ much from modern methods, but there are slight variations in footwork and grip, as well as the distinction between the various ranges, and attacks best employed when... Forgive me, I lost sight of the more pertinent point. Nimian scholars and marauders fought side by side, yes? Well, now you and I have an opportunity to do the same. Tonberry has been spotted in Bronze Lake, and the Marauder's Guild has been asked to, dis to dispatch it. Since Tonberries dwell within the Wanderer's Palace, the ancient Nubian temple recently discovered in the wake of the Calamity, there's a strong possibility that the creatures have resided there since before the fall of Nim. You follow my reasoning, Harris? These malevolent creatures may have overrun the temple and cleaned it for their own at the height of Nimian civilization. It may have posed a major threat to the ancient people, even. If so, then surely facing one in battle would rekindle the memories of your fairy. Even if I am mistaken, the Tonberry poses a threat to the locals. Moreover, I would very much like to put my newly learned Nimian techniques to the test. So we will rendezvous outside the Wanderer's Palace, yes? To Upper Lenosha. Oh boy, solo instance. Well, Matt Harris, I only just arrived myself. It was in this vicinity that the Tomberry was last sighted. With luck, it will not have gone far. Look, top the stairs. A Tonberry. My son, my dear son, 
At long last, I... I... The... The rancor. It rises. It rises. It comes. Heal up. God, why do you have so much health? Bam. Duty complete. <sighs> what are you doing? Move, damn you. I... Confound it all. Ah, what happened, Harris? I thought you could control her. I apologize. I know you've only just begun to work with the fairy. Some disobedience is to be expected. Axemaster Wernzone will be disappointed, but there's not we can do. Tomberry's long gone. Let's return to Limsa Lamenza. Others yield. Ah, Harris, permit me to apologize a second time. Earlier, I, I was flustered and not myself. In the aftermath of the Tom Bear's escape, I completely overlooked our accomplishments. We confirmed with, we confirmed the viability of Nimian tactics and proved that a scholar and marauder working in tandem is a force to be reckoned with. Did you not say? You correct me if I am mistaken, but your favorite regained some of her memory, yes? That in mind, I feel comfortable claiming that this was a worthwhile endeavor. 
However, do try and gain greater mastery over your minion, Harris. I would hate for a repeat of that incident. Scholar Quest Level 45 in the Image of the Ancients. Good to see you, Harris. I have made yet another discovery which pertains to you and your scholarly arts. I've come into possession of several ancient engravings, including some which showed traditional raiments of Numian scholars. In fact, the extraordinary detail of these illustrations, coupled with information gleaned from other sources, was sufficient to deduce their design. At present, it is impossible to say how historically accurate my designs are. That is why I propose we enlist the aid of Eorzea's preeminent artisans, so that we might recreate these garments. Should they prove sufficiently authentic, I expect your fairy will regain more of her missing memories. In the hands of a preeminent weaver, say, Master Redolent Rose of Sunsoak Tapestries, this information should be sufficient. Ah, but you cannot journey to Old Dawn until you have gathered the leaves of a direwort. My texts explicitly mention that the plant's pigments were used to dye Numian uniforms. Last direwort is much rarer than it was in the days of yore. It can only be found in the fog fens now. Does you think I mean to make you do all the work? Worry not. While you scour Mordona for the plant, I will contact Master Rose and convince him to help. Though I doubt it will require much effort. Fun. Oh. Right. That's fine. Over where I believe the Imperial. Got time for this fight. Oh, hello. I think I have no choice on this one, though. for the epic music. Next step, Ulda. Suppose you do have a rather scholarly air about you. I've been expecting you, Harris. Have you the leaves in Alcazolco's designs, then? Crafting raiments that have not been seen in 1500 years. This is indeed a daunting challenge. But it is one I suspect I will enjoy a great deal, for rare is the day a weaver revives ancient fashion. I shall begin at once. 
You observe it if you like, but be aware it will be a lengthy process. It, it has been some time since I labored with such intensity. I adhered to Al Gazoka's designs as best I could, though there were certain aspects I felt compelled to change. His lack of familiarity with textiles and weaving led to what I can only assume are errors. I will note that I could only complete the culottes, because the other garments require skills which I do not possess. Mistresses Serendipity and Geva of the Goldsmiths and Leatherworkers Guilds, respectively, can provide the finishing touches to the remaining pieces. Ah, but you were unaware that I could not craft the full set by myself, weren't you? Very well. I shall send word to them on your behalf, Harris. I need only visit each guild and present to them my unfinished work. That's better than how most of these go. We have obtained pants. Greetings, Harris. Red said you'd be along shortly, so let's see that mortarboard. Read the bird, the murder bird. Hmm, this shouldn't take long. Wait here a moment. Gee. Here it is, as promised. You think what difference a mithril tassel can make, isn't it? Wear it with pride, Harris. Off you go. Be sure to enjoy your time in Gridania. Hello. Ah, Harris, the man who would single-handedly revive the scholarly arts. All right, then, show me what you got. Show me what you've got. Master Rose's work is marvelous, as to be expected. This will be a pleasure. There you go, one pair of fingerless buffalo leather gloves. Perfect for the scholar who prefers that his protection does not come at a cost to dexterity. Oh, the boots? Belly will see to those. He's an expert cord wainer, so you needn't worry about the quality. Besides, I've already spoiled you by making your gloves for free. Hi. You're the scholar, yes? Been instructed to assist you. If you would please let me see Master Rose's work. Craftsmanship is amazing. Cannot wait to get started. Tap, tap, tap. Here you are, sir. Made with the finest born buffalo leather in accordance with Alcazoka's designs, which are very impressive, I must say. Must be dying to see the completed set. I know I would be. Had I gone to such. I know I would be had I gone to such great lengths. What a surprise him by wearing the garments when next you meet him. Zolka at the Marauders Guild. We'll notice an important piece missing. I mean, besides the hat. Wrong place. not be fully awake yet. <clears throat> I 
Ah, the gods, I feel as though I've been transported backwards through time. You're the very image of the Nimian scholars of Eld. Well, minus the gown, but still. Never in my wildest dreams that I think it would turn out this well. Ah, I see you approve as well, little one. So I should say we can consider this a great success. Bam, 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 bam. Recording Scholar Quest Level 45 for your fellow man. Ah, yes, I forgot to mention that while I was awaiting your return, I made considerable progress with deciphering the deciphering of my Nimian tablets. Much of what I have learned until now has pertained to the roles of scholars within the military. However, these latest texts offer insight into scholars' activities during times of peace. As you can imagine, they were not the sort to let their restorative magics go to waste. One particularly stirring account describes their selfless efforts to combat the spread of a virulent plague which at one point threatened to engulf all of Nim. Naturally, they did so with the aid of their fairies, which is why I believe that similar acts of charity may serve to further awaken your winged companions. If you were of a mind to test my theory, why not journey to Camp Bronze Lake? Find no shortage of the second wounded there. Rukusa Farusa would doubtless welcome your services were you to offer them. He resides over the Wormwine Sanatorium, so be sure to have a word with him if you decide to go. Off for you! Oh well. Hello and welcome to Bronze Lake. If you desire treatment, I... Pardon, you wish to administer treatment? Are you really qualified to... Wait, you must be Harris, the scholar. You're happy to accept any assistance you could provide. I told you possess magics which can cleanse the body of toxins, impurities, and maladies. At the present, we have five patients visiting the springs who would benefit from this care. Very attend to these individuals and return to me when finished. Okie dokie. There you go. My lungs. You can breathe again. Bless you, sir. Bless you. I'm so... Huh? What the? Why'd you have to go and do that? Oh, bugger. Now they'll take me wine away. Faced. Eh? What did you do? You took something from me. Something bad. I don't know what you did, but I'm glad you did it. Thank you. Whoa, hello. Suddenly, a fight breaks out. Spirited invalid. What? What's this warmth? Did you do that? I. I. Thank you, whoever you are. me free. You no longer feel his eyes upon me. Now to deal with this thing.
All right, takes care of that. back. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. What you did for those patients was nothing short of miraculous. The commanding officers will be pleased to hear that they can return to active duty. You and Uncle Zoko have my deepest thanks, Harris. And back we go. Ah, Harris. Rukusa Farusa tells me that your potent magic succeed all expectation. Had a good time, did you? I, I thought you might. Warms my heart to see the two of you making such great strides. It reminds me that I must work harder to see that I'm not left behind. For the nonce, I will... <clears throat> For the nonce, I will resume deciphering the Nimian tablets. Where they have yielded an immense quality quantity of information on the scholarly arts, I remain confident that they can that they contain an equally impressive wealth of tactical information. Less straight. Two Five. Okay, Scholar Quest, level 50, The Beast Within. Harris, you must come with me at once. Another Tonberry has emerged from the Wanderer's Palace. Wait, hold on. We got to turn off the... A traveling peddler caught sight of the fiend and fled to Camp Bronze Lake. Once again, it falls to the Marauder's Guild to find and slay it. This time we will hunt the Tonberry in greater numbers so that we might surround it and cut off all avenues of escape. I've not forgotten our previous attempt to slay one of the foul creatures. Nor have you, I trust. I have your assurances that you will keep your fairy in le line this time, yes? Then let us make for Camp Bronze Lake at once. My comrades have already departed, and I do not wish to fall behind. We will rendezvous with them at the same place where we battled the first Tonberry. Tonberry, Tonberry, Tonberry. All right, time for a solo duty. Yay. I remember right, I have to use Essena a bunch in this one. Yeah, I don't remember how the level 50 Scala quest works. <clears throat> Thank the gods you have come, Harris. Any later, we might have had to proceed without you. Time Barry appears to be in some sort of trance and is oblivious to our presence. Is everyone ready? Let's -a go. Excellent. Remember, we must surround the feet. Cannot be allowed to flee. My son, my dear son, stay away. I cannot. Wee. Damn it, not again. Seek sanctuary inside the Wanderer's Palace. 
Come, let us follow and finish this once and for all. NPCs. Take out the time berries. I'd have been thinking about a different one. Fuck are you going? Headed fairy. A lot of flames. Oh, there we go. What? Again? Why do you protect this demon? Heal the Tonberry Wanderer. Gun mad? That thing is a monster. It must be put down. <laughs> the Rancor. It... I... Lily, my son, why are you here? Who has summoned you? Then Nim... Nim is no more. Fifteen hundred years. Can it truly be so? I am... I was Cerrito Carito, for the sickness of the, from the sea transformed me. The traitors, they were there first. They were the first. Their ears and noses began to atrophy. Their limbs grew shorter and their skin... The 
scholars tried to halt the spread, tried to find a cure, but in time, we too fell ill. Sympathy turned to fear, and fear to anger. Monsters, they called us. Abominations. Then, then you were once a man. They sealed the sick within the temple with magics, tried to drown us, tried to forget us. Though our bodies had been changed, our minds remained intact. But within every man lurks the beast, and those whom you call kin deny you, come to hate you and despise you. I too succumbed to the rancor, until you, re until you reunited me with Lily, my dearest son. Long has my mind been clouded with hatred, but by the resplendent light of Lily, long last I am free. It's like, well, mission accomplished. Suddenly, visions of a lollifel. Came expecting to fight one Tonberry, not a whole bloody mess of them. If it wasn't for you and your flying friend, I reckon we'd not have left out there alive. Gotta say, you and I can make a great team. Seems there ain't more of you scholarly types around. I could sh use a partner like you. Take care, Harris. It's a way to bleed in the moment. That Tonberry used to be a scholar like you. So, does that mean you'll turn into one of them if you keep slinging those spells? Or did I misunderstand what he said back there? Yeah, the hell's with it. Now Alka. I I nearly killed him. Thank the gods that fairy stopped me. I wonder, did she know it was Sarito from the beginning, or was it only... In any case, she has regained a good portion of her memories, if not all of them, I suspect. Now, if you would excuse me, I need to take some time to put my thoughts in order, and decide how I might explain this to the Axe Master. That the traditions of my people have not been lost to the ages is of great comfort to me. I do not know how that soul crystal came into your possession, but I am glad that it did. For the sickness robbed me not only of my body, but of Lily as well. The soul of the scholar no longer resonates with my ether. I cannot summon her. Only you can. Only you are fit to wield the magics now. Here, a gown as befits a scholar of your standing. I bequeath it to you, along with the knowledge of sacred soil, the most versatile art. I cannot thank you enough for purging the rancor from my heart. There are still countless others who have yet to see the light. Cannot abandon them to their fate. I will not. And so I bid you farewell, Harris. Carry on our traditions with pride. Yeah, I think it might have been the level 60 one I was thinking of. Maybe. <laughs> Yay, Sacred Soil! This concludes the Sky Quest for Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Blah, 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 blah. Get to Heaven's Word. Yep. <laughs>